Hello, I've got my two guests with me, Amelia and Katie. How are you guys today? Good. Yeah, good. Okay, that's good to hear. So, the old Disney films, how do you feel about those, like the animated stuff? Oh, I love them. It's not a movie, but like those short, like really old, like Chippendale and like Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse cartoons, they were they're like 50 minutes long or something. Yeah, I love those like old films. Like, okay, I love Dumbo so much mm. like the classic Dumbo and Aristocats like like it's also like how the animation isn't always perfect but it's just like magic it's like oh. so would you like say like the Disney like style Disney 1930s to the Disney Renaissance of 1990 would you say like the Disney style kind of has its unique sort of points um yeah I kind of miss their like older style when it wasn't 3D. I'm sure loads of people do as well. Yeah. Um, I don't know. So, so like the colors, I think, are a big point in the old ones. They're more like unusual and it just yeah. made it all like stand out and pop. And I think they focus more on making it look good now than making it look like interesting and fun. Because like they put they've changed from the like hand drawn style to the more like rendering 3 ness but like I think it's kind of sort of to do with Pixar stuff coming in but like it's just yeah it's become too clean yeah I feel like there's nothing yeah. special about 3D animation now like everyone's doing it it would be so much better if they just yeah. kept it 2D they'd stand out a bit more yeah it's also like that whole it's perfect now it's like there's some really scuffed pictures of like Snow White like some frames you're just like that yeah, that's yeah. just funny <laughs> like oh my god and it's the same like there's so many like inconsistencies for like, some of the films if you just like kind of watch them carefully mm -hmm. but like it kind of just adds to it i'm like this is great yeah it's like little easter eggs that people can like <laughs> guess and memorize and prove their yeah. knowledge <laughs> how do you find the classic Disney animated films and like shorts they how they hold up as like pieces of medium in today with like audiences I think also maybe a more interesting question is also like how they hold up to like our like how appropriate they are I guess like like how there's like racial things or an issue at the moment with some Dumbo is no longer allowed to be shown on TV because of the scene with the crows. Okay, I would okay. actually... I would as a child, this passed over me yeah. because also it's like American history, Jim Crow laws. Yeah. Like, I didn't know that. Like, I wasn't taught that until high school. But like, it's also, it's like a really good song. Just going to say it. But like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I would actually say like, they don't actually have to get rid of the movie and not show it on TV. If they had a had like the reason behind like they went like they went afterwards and went stop pausing scene like look this is why this scene is fucked up for the way it is. At this time, it was acceptable to do these words and these terms and basically discriminate these people. But now, and since we're more socially aware, it's so not like, okay yeah. to say that. But so people I feel like that's fine with people our age, but I think it's when it's like young children for about five. They're very mm. unaware of everything, so... Okay, next <laughs> question. Have you seen any of the remakes of Disney animated films? Or have you wanted to see any of them? I mean, I've seen Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, um, maybe some others. I haven't... I've refused to see any of the ones where basically it's entirely CGI. Like okay. The Lion feel? King or Jungle Book. How do you find those movies as, like, they held, hold up as movies? Were they good or were they just, yeah? I mean, like, I enjoyed them, but I don't think they were special. Yeah, I've also just seen Cinderella in the in <laughs> But yeah, I don't think they were good. I think they were just, like, cool to see everything in real life. But I feel like something as small as, like, changing lyrics of a song or, like, changing the meaning of a song doesn't change the movie that much. But if they call it, like, a remake but then the plot's completely different. I get mad at that. Why call it a remake when it's not? It's like a sequel. If you were the head of Disney and had all their licenses for all of these franchises and all the money, what would you remake? Frank and Meanie. Maybe I, okay, maybe I'd do like The Sword and the Stone. I'll probably yeah. go for like, if I was going to do a remake, but I had the 2D and like 3D mix, I'll probably do Black Cauldron. Okay, thank you for the interview. That was really productive and had some good points of view. So thank you, Amelia. And thank you, Katie, for coming on and being my guests. Oh, you're you are welcome. helpful. Yeah, you're very welcome. <laughs>